Right, we're going to have a look at how to use the um, normal distribution table. This is a table of values that you get as part of your formula sheet. Um, and this is the formula sheet given to you for NCA exams. This is just a snapshot of the, the top part of it. There is a, a lot more on the formula sheet itself. Okay, so let's just um, ignore that uh, formula for a bit. We'll come to using that later on. At the moment, we're just going to look at the Z values on here. Now that's for the standardized normal distribution where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Okay, so you might get a question like this. What's the probability that Z is less than 0.467? And you need to read off the value from the table. Now, what this means is we're putting 0.467 on that place for Z and the table um, we'll use to work out this area here. Now the probability that Z is less than 0.467 is everything to the left of 0.467. The table we read off by looking at 0.4, then the 6, and seeing where they meet up. So we've got 0.1772. We're not quite finished. Our number was 0.467. So now we take that 7 over on the right hand side and that means we have to add another 25 to that four digit number that we've got there. The 1772, we add 25 onto the last two digits. So that now becomes 1797, since 72 plus 25 is 97. Now what that's actually given us from the table is this area here, the shaded portion. Um, that that bit that's given to you in the, the dark grey shaded on your formula sheet, that's the number that it's reading off for you. So just that portion between 0 and 0 0.467 is 0 0.1797 that we've just read off. The other half of the curve is always 0 0.5. The whole curve adds up to 1. It's completely symmetrical. So when you chop it in half, the other side of it is 0 0.5. So to get the whole area that we wanted, we're going to add those two bits together. So we get our final answer is 0.6797. So the probability that Z is less than 0.467 is 0.6797. Okay, let's have a go at another one. What about the probability that Z is less than negative 0.279? So that goes on the curve just here. It's below the zero because it's a negative. So it's to the left. And we're looking for everything less than that um, number. So it's everything shaded to the left of minus 0 0.271. Now it's symmetrical. So when we're reading off the table, we can read off the value for 0 0.271. So we go 0 0.27 and 1, and we mark where they cross. We've got that 0 0.1064, and we're adding on another 4. So that becomes 0 0.1068. Now remember, that doesn't give us exactly the answer to our question. It gives us that shaded region. So that shaded region is equal to 0 0.1068. Now those triangular kind of bits at the side, they're symmetrical, so they're the same. So if we carry on now, that half of the graph was 0.05. So we do 0.05 plus the 0.1068 that we read off the table, and we get 0.6068. Now the probability that we're looking for is the same as that orange triangle part that we, were, that we said was the same as the bit we've now rubbed off, which was what we were looking for. So that will be equivalent. Now we've got that 0 0.6068 adds up to all the rest of the graph. So to find the bit that we want, we do one minus that value because everything has to add up to one. So our final answer is 0 0.3132.